what's up keto people so I hear a bunch of you guys asking um, well I'm interested in keto how should I go ahead and start this and I've got plenty of tips videos and things which I am going to tell you you know depending on what you want I'm gonna say okay watch this watch that otherwise this video is just gonna be <laughs> super long so I'm just gonna if you have generic questions about how to start it and all of that there's blues okay bye um, this will answer most of them and then if you want more detailed uh, instruction on how to go further I'll tell you what other videos to watch okay so you won't have but you probably will have all your questions answered probably not by the end of this video but if you have another one and stuff so just let me know you're gonna get a bunch of stuff answered just by this video and then the other ones just FYI um, so the first thing that I want to go into you need to figure out if you are gonna be a dirty keto or strict keto um, dirty keto is where you don't really pay attention to the ingredients you're just caring about I have notes you're just caring about um, what the carb count is okay um, the the stricter that you go the less food options you have because if you're a strict keto um, then a lot of stuff is off the table like for instance um, pre shredded cheese that's a no-no if you're strict keto because it's got caking agents like potato starch and stuff in there and that's not good so um, and kind of the reason be behind it is for keto everything is supposed to be anti-inflammatory all right and a lot of this stuff that um, if you're dirty keto um, it's still pro-inflammatory you know you have people that say low-carb tortillas are, are okay and um, this pre-shredded cheese is out there everywhere um, or the sugar-free dairy creamers that everyone are using and you get all of this from um, the Facebook groups and they say I'm using this this is fantastic or whatever well what they're not telling you is this is dirty keto um, and I will tell you from personal experience from doing keto twice um, that the stricter you go the quicker weight loss um, you have so just know on that but there's no wrong way of doing it guys there's there's no wrong way I'm just letting you know that the stricter you go the more that you'll lose weight and if you end up having a stall then that's gonna be why maybe you should look into the ingredients um, so I'll just kind of say I do have a video it's a three-part thing because otherwise it was gonna be an hour-long video of what groceries you should buy and that goes into um, those ingredients and what's dirty and what's strict so that's the first thing that you need to figure out are you gonna be dirty keto or strict keto all right um, second thing is everyone asks about um, how many carbs you should have and what's the difference between total carbs and net carbs it is 20 net carbs 30 total and I will give you for instance because a lot of people are like well how do you calculate those um, the net carbs so I like Mazetta's marinara sauce for pasta sauce but I'm just gonna show you this as an example so Mazetta's it has if you're looking at this label here it says five total carbs but right below it it says fiber one gram so you subtract the fiber from the total carbs which gives you four net carbs okay so that just means and I'll, I'll tell you the reason why most people do this and I've done it you know I don't do total carbs um, either I do always net um, because fiber it just kind of goes right through you it doesn't stay around your body and do anything wrong you know so it just goes straight through so that's why you shouldn't even factor that into your carbs for most people um, so just know on that um, hey guys so really quick so I was just editing the video to put it out and then I completely forgot about something which are the sugar-free Russell Stover's candies and the Adkins bars candies or whatever honestly these things just should be a no no matter what if you're absolutely dying at your first week or two and you need something to get over that hump I would say okay but first off just be mindful that the, the reason why is there's maltitol in them and maltitol is just not good for any sort of keto whatsoever 
um, because it's higher up on the glycemic index, which raises your insulin, which insulin is fat storage and it's, that, it's everything that we're trying to avoid, okay? So these things have maltitol. So it's a sugar alcohol, but it's not the ones that, it's not one of the ones that's really good for um, keto. So if you're dirty keto though, absolutely have it. It, it, you know, do it. But I still say maybe only have it once or twice a week really if that because it's just not good it's just not good and that that very well may stall you so if you're having problems and that's and that could very well be the reason dessert replacements just really aren't good for the first week or two anyway to begin with the other thing that i have to say are ice creams like halo top has gotten a little bit better about their ingredients but once again you really need to look at the back of those uh, i mean especially if you're strict keto dirty keto once again um I would say though that Rebel Ice Cream, I think is the one that I've seen that has been the best as far as anything like that. Anyway, just a side note there, I was editing, I was just like, oh no, I need to bring, I need to bring this up. Anyway, okay, back to the show. Uh, and then I'm gonna, oh, also don't be afraid of salt and fat. Whenever you think of the normal diet, um, you think sodium is so horrible for you, so you get the lower sodium stuff, or um, or it, the fat, you're very scared of fat, so you're gonna try to get the fat-free stuff or anything that says light. Um, no, you want full fat stuff. You, get, you buy sour cream, you wanna get the actual sour cream, not the fat-free stuff, because we need more fat. Um, I go into that more in, I think, the grocery video, but just letting you know, that it, you know, turkey, bacon, no, you wanna get the real bacon, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and because if you don't have enough salts, sodium is one of the, the electrolytes that you lose a lot of when you're on the keto diet. It's sodium, potassium, and magnesium. You hear everything about electrolytes. That's Those are the ones that you really need to up. Um, so uh, like potassium and, and magnesium. Magnesium, people have been using um, natural calm, which by the way, be careful because it is a laxative. So it will give some sort of laxative effects. Um, so just be real careful with <laughs> trying it for the first time. You'll eventually level out. You just need to get some magnesium in there, but you can get that from vegetables. The same thing with potassium. That's why avocados are so great because they have a lot of what you need, okay? So there's that, oh boy, I'm taking care of a lot of stuff already. Um, what do people use as far as um, apps? Um, I use Carb Manager. Most everyone uses Carb Manager. Some people say that the counts are off a little bit, but I don't really pay too much attention. I mean, I do strict keto and I do pay attention to some of the macros, but I'll be honest with you, for me personally, I just need to make sure I have 20 net carbs or less and, and I don't have like a ton of calories. That's just kind of what I do. So I'm kind of like in between everything. Um, so carb managers are what everyone really uses. Uh, also, you're gonna be wondering about urine strips. Okay, guys, uh, these things are only gonna work for a couple of weeks. And it's because it really reads only one particular chemical um, that's going through your your body one particular ketone or whatever and so at the beginning you're going to get um, these normal readings uh, I was about to bark anyway okay so um, when when these particular strips only read a certain ketone and after a couple of weeks when your body starts realizing and using these ketones it's not gonna put those out anymore it's not gonna flush them through your system if you get my drift and so you're gonna start seeing negative traces on there and you're gonna be like, okay, well, what now? I'm not in ketosis anymore. Um, well, so anyway, long story, watch the video if you need to know more about that. So I just say no to those urine strips. You don't even need them. When you, when you think that you're in ketosis, everyone is asking, well, how do you know when you're in ketosis? Uh, primarily it's when you can skip a meal and you don't really notice it. Um, some people say bad breath. Um, that's another indication. There's several, but I'm just saying no to those. If you really want to know, blood testing is the best. And I think 11, a lot of people say Keto Mojo is good, but I don't like that sort of stuff. So I've never done that. Um, okay. And then another thing, please guys don't ever fall for these 
exogenous ketones or people trying to PM you and, and um, because what are they trying to hide? No, they're trying to hide the fact that they're trying to sell you something and people are going to tell you not to buy it. That's what it is. Just say no to those things. They don't work. Matter of fact, I've gotten so many people comment to me and say those things actually had the opposite effect and they would stall people. So just, you know, and this is my opinion, but also a gazillion other people's opinions that they don't work and you don't need to spend one penny. If you've seen my before and after picture, which hopefully I still saved it and, and putting it up here, um, that's two months and that's almost 20 pounds in two months and I did zero, zero ketones, no bad products. And I did a little bit of dirty keto at first and then I went to strict after realizing that I couldn't have soybean oil anymore. So, um, and what foods do you eat? Once again, try that grocery video because that will really um, tell you what's good and you know dirty versus strict but you can have your meats your cheeses your veggies eggs um, pork rinds are good I use that in a whole bunch of stuff um, but that grocery video it, it's it's just fantastic and remember it's three parts to it you know so there's plenty more uh, once the first video ends so I would go ahead and watch that for all of those um, also when you're starting out, you'll want to measure yourself. I know everyone is going to be tempted, and I do it too. I am guilty of it, getting on a scale every day. Let's not be doing that. Let's not panic whenever the scale doesn't move for like two or three weeks. I do progress updates. I did it like, I think it's week two, three, and four or something. I did progress updates, and I'm just like, well nothing but my inches were still going down I'm, I'm able to wear rings that I couldn't wear before so I'm just saying uh, it you need to particularly measure yourself um, like I, I'll tell you what I did real quick is that I, I didn't have the one of those like uh, fabric measuring tapes so I just took the measuring tape the metal one that's extremely cold when you're like naked trying to wear <laughs> measure yourself yeah anyways anyways so that's what I was doing I was just like nope nope I'm measuring myself um regardless I ended up buying one off of Amazon but so just know on that measure yourself don't really fall fall for the scale not really dropping but that kind of leads into also your first week it's going to be water weight you're going to be like oh my gosh this diet is the best thing ever I've lost 10 pounds six pounds however much you've lost in the first week and, and then the second week you're just like I only lost a pound or I gained a pound or whatever that is don't worry about that because it's just gonna be water weight the first week and then when you actually start losing which the average is around a pound to possibly two pounds a week um, that's when it's gonna start being actual fat loss, which is good, which you might not see that for, you know, after the initial week, you might not see it for another week or two. Um, but that's all probably because if you're more on the dirty keto side, I'm just saying, you know, if you were on the stricter side, you might actually see more progress. I know I'm leaning towards strict, but that's because I was trying dirty and it didn't work for me. And so I'm just like, oh, guys, stop but I know you, you guys are gonna do whatever you want. Uh, the, the last thing I really have is exercise I don't do exercise no ma'am no sir <laughs> mm -mm. not for me I mean I did it for a while whenever I got down to the weight that I wanted to be and then I wanted to kind of start toning um, but then I realized nope I don't like that either mm -mm. <laughs> so I just stopped <laughs> but then of course anyway okay, I won't go into all that Anyway, so that's all the time I have. That's um, all the stuff. Um, definitely watch the do's and don'ts um, video. I think I've covered pretty much every time I have. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel, Bonnie on Keto, for um, all my new videos. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell because otherwise you won't know whenever a new video pops up. And then I've also got my Facebook group, uh, Keto Network, which I refuse to have anyone come on and sell ketones or sell anything or put free meal plans on there or whatever. That reminds me, I have a seven day meal plan that I did for free because I don't want people to charge because 
I like people to have free advice. It's actual good advice and all of that. Anyway, that's all the time I have. I'll see you guys next time.